So I'll just start now. We're back. Let's watch the briefing for the next mission. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled Silvio Caruso. employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Golf Renowned again. For his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, Invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. <laughs> A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need I just to think deal with Caruso's lab head. I'm Francesca trying not to interrupt Santis, the story. <laughs> a high level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus they is never a serious are. threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Active. Let's see. You know we you know what I missed last night? I missed our boy. Cowboy Samurai Assassin. Concussion collector's duck. Let's do that. <laughs> if if I could grow YouTube viewership with to capturing footage like this, then Silvio I could Caruso's family vastly right increase it. The, the bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia. So the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. Giddy up! Alright. That's a blurry newspaper. Okay, it just was focused on me. It had pulled the focus. There's the targets. I love that. You just see them <clears throat> no matter where they are right away. All right. That's the front gate. We're not just going to be able to walk in the front door, that's for sure. As I said before, I think I played the first cup. Marcello Ray has hired a new kitchen hand by recommendation, and the two have mm. yet to meet. Could be a convenient way to infiltrate the mansion. FYI, according to our research, Chef Marcello has been trying to replicate Isabella Caruso's famous home cooking, but Silvio Caruso is not impressed. I so we're going to need to... Helping hand. <sighs> okay, so we're going to need to poison the meal. Okay. Yeehaw! <laughs> what I was saying was, uh, so this is Hitman 1, kind of remastered and updated as a part of Hitman 2. I don't know if it's a special edition or they just went ahead and did it. Um, 
for every version, but I only played the first couple of missions in Hitman 1. I think I might have played this one at some point because the map is vaguely familiar, but I don't remember anything else about it. Got it. Sure. Is there any poison lying around? No? Can't vault. Uh huh. Yeehaw. Can we get down back here? Yeah. Climb. Wee. Oh, do it again. What's he doing? <laughs> Nothing. Mind your business. God damn, can a chef have fun? Why is that suspicious? Don't move a muscle, buddy. That's right, it's just ran sometimes people are randomly suspicious of you and I happen to turn the corner and run into one immediately. Ah, the beach. Looks pretty good. No. So we need to find a way up into the mansion area now that we do have a usable uh, costume. I just can't tell. Man, this is really cool looking. Meet with the mansion chef. No! Shit. This path wasn't worth it. Can you jump in the water? No, I don't think you can. I don't think. No. I would not be surprised if a boat uh, was an escape method, though, to let you, you know, ride off into the sunset on the water. But nope, no uh, water world recreations happening right now. Aw, thanks for the spam, spam account. Thank you. Hey, could you give me so a this sense? was just you wish so I guess I just had bad luck the right call was to just walk out of the building and go to the mansion but I ran into a suspicious person what I guess I can just stroll in the front now then, maybe? Uh, get me out of here. This is where it all started. It's like one big wasteful loop. Oh, sure. Oh, that's right. I had the apartment key. Okay. Don't need that gun. I already have a silenced pistol. What is that? Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nah, that's fine. What did that say? Mansion security? Hmm. So should we keep going with uh, the chef thing or should we change to security? 
Hmm. I'm gonna keep the chef thing going just because it's a unique story mission and we have a little bit of guidance. But if things fall apart, I'm not afraid to come back here. Church key. Interesting. Boiling water? Oh, are you suspicious? Suspicious person? God damn. Need a break. Alright, this villa is really confusing. I just want to get to the goddamn mansion. <laughs> and I'm hitting dead end after dead end after dead end. <laughs> yeah, unlock. Please let me out. Please let me leave. I want to leave. Can I climb this? Jesus Christ. Did you see that Dance in the Dark was randomly trending on Twitter today? I'm convinced it was because of your reaction. I did not see that. But uh, hopefully people find my video as a result. <laughs> I I think I've looked at trending once in my life. I, that's how... Terrible I am on social media. I wonder why. Was it the anniver an anniversary of some kind for the song, maybe? Chef Marcello, I'm the new kitchen hand. Sorry, I'm late. You're damn right you are. Never mind. Yeah, you can finish this tomato sauce. Maybe you can get it right. That seemed to be chased. When you're done, Sure thing, boss. I'll give it some love. That music. I'm surprised it did not have me pick up a poison first. I'm a definitely a chef, not a cowboy. Samurai Assassin. Now we're gonna ring the lunch bell. Love it. Caruso will be coming to lunch shortly. His last meal, I presume. This town is already full. It's like a freaking white telephone, you know? Yeah, it's pretty idyllic. Would you believe I haven't lost a shot? Where's the next green mission thing? Hmm. Where's the map? Map. Agency pickup. Yeah, that's them giving me poison, I believe. You know, if I wasn't a badass bodyguard, I'd be a chef. If I wasn't a badass bodyguard, I'd be a chef. Those are my two options in life, too. That's interesting. That's cool. That's cool how that stuff can randomly happen. I'm not suspicious. You're suspicious. How do I get... Where's the agency drop-off? I'm assuming this is supposed to be poison, right? Yep. Pick up military briefcase. Fuck. 
fuck? This isn't poison. Why isn't it having me pick up poison? Why isn't it having me do anything? Huh. So it just gets him to come out to where the food is. Doing some farming in Final Fantasy XIV. I just appreciate you checking out the stream at any time. You have me really curious to check that game out. We'll see how much streaming I can actually do here and uh, how much time I spend on Twitch in the next couple of weeks. And I don't know. I could justify some Final Fantasy XIV time. God damn it! If I can turn it into a video, I think. You're far enough. That is Silvio Caruso. Are you shitting me? I just wasted this whole time. We're gonna load. Fuck that. That was that was a completely aimless. No, we're loading. That was a completely aimless five minutes because I thought I was still in a story mission and I thought it was taking me to get poison because I clearly want to poison the food that I'm calling him down to, to eat. But it didn't do that. It just wasted my time running around until he showed up. Which, if it was my fault, I would have accepted the consequences, but it wasn't my fault because I thought the game was leading me somewhere that it didn't lead me. Now we're in the, the mystery, the labyrinth of apartments. Oops, wrong button. You're trespassing. I'm not trespassing. I don't care about the duck. Just want to get out of these buildings. Is this the way out? Mansion key card. Interesting. <gasps> there was somebody on the balcony. Can't vault over that. That's still... Come on, what are we doing here, game? All right, here we go. Here we go. Wait, is this the chef's kitchen? That's gotta be rat poison. No. I want rat poison. Rat poison. Oh my god. <laughs> What's cooking, bitch? That was funny, random. Dialogue. There was a dead rat under my boat this morning. Ah, oh, good. Must mean the poison. There was a dead rat in my boat. Must mean the poison worked. That faucet is a distraction. Chef, Let's out. talk to homeboy here again, and then we're gonna look for rat right, poison. You're damn right you are. <sighs> Never mind. Yeah, you can finish this tomato sauce. Maybe you can get it right. I seem to be. When you're done, ring the dinner bell. Sure thing, boss. I'll give we'll it some love. back salt in the purees today, okay? Just another opportunity to cook this meal right. Me too, Mirror's Edge Girl. I bet if we sat down and listened to all of them, there would, I bet they would almost all be interesting. 
Okay, let's look for the rat poisoning first. See, it's right fucking here. Ugh. That guy's staring at me the whole time. It's going to be hard to poison this, though. Caruso will be coming to lunch shortly. His last meal, I presume. Dude, I love just poisoning someone right in front of the head chef. <laughs> Can I blend in somewhere else now? Yeah. So now we're just going to sit here and clean the counters till that guy comes in. And then uh, we'll watch him eat the chili and die. So Mirror's Edge Girl, let me ask you a question. What sounds more appealing for releasing uh, Patreon requests on YouTube? One video uh, every day, like five or six days a week, or like a, a dedicated Patreon day where you literally get five videos from me in a single day, but then there's less videos from me throughout the week, like one a day instead of two or something like that. I mean, ultimately, it's the same video count. It's just, do you get it divided up amongst the week, or do you have one super day of multiple releases and then regular videos throughout the week? Yeah, the single day. I just... When I came... When I decided to start doing Patreon requests, I thought it would be win-win. Where I would get random requests from people that want to see me be successful. And depending on these random music artists, whoever they were... Is this guy gonna get fucking... I'm gonna ring the doorbell again. Or the bell again, I mean. Um, then I thought new viewers would find me through new bands that I react to. But I think instead what's happening... Um, but what has happened, to finish this thought, and then I'll read Triceratops' comment. Um, what has happened instead is my reaction, the videos are so random lately because of this, so many, the variety of requests, which I personally enjoy. I think it's making it harder for people to find my channel and get locked in. You know what I mean? Missing key card. So my thought is, if I kind of centralize the Patreon requests, then I can kind of get back to my curation of me picking the regular releases that I do, like the Lady Gaga's and the Melanie Martinez, whatever. I can answer any questions you have about 14 if you want. The story is very long and mandatory. 
look at it like a regular Final Fantasy game. That's good to know. Uh, what is this? Francesca DeSantis is evidently having an affair with Caruso's golf coach, Roberto Vargas. A notorious ladies' man, Vargas has turned DeSantis' bedroom into a candlelit love nest and plans to call on her after his golf lesson with Caruso. Well, she should know better than to mix business with pleasure. Hmm. Find out more about the golf coach. Um, I don't know what questions I would have, except is it on Xbox One? Of course I'm missing poison. Or is it only on PlayStation and PC? And if it is on if it is on Xbox, just how are the console controls in general? You know how dumb it was to be the chef? I should have I should have got the mansion guard outfit. Only PlayStation and PC. The console controls are great. Oh, that's interesting. I have PlayStation as well, so I guess it doesn't matter. I just primarily... Um, I like Xbox's controller better than PlayStation's controller. Hey there, chef. What's up? And my, my One X is more graphically powerful than my PlayStation Pro. But new consoles are coming out in a couple of months anyway. Oh my god. I'm standing here. Darn, I was hoping I could talk to him. Who is that? Oh. I'm nobody, bro. Oh, that's the goddamn target. Find out more about the golf coach. I'm right here. Hmm. I kind of wanted to see if I can take this guy out. He's right out here out in the open. Mr. Suspicious. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. Talk about a hole in one. Let's just in case this works out. Let's do a new save. I I was I didn't I thought they were going to attack me right away, but I guess being concealed behind the bush and si firing the silenced weapon worked. The only thing I'm curious about now is should I go back and get the mansion security outfit in case this one's compromised. Damn it. Go. There was an outfit. Uh, there was like a, a mansion security outfit. Am I wrong? 
believe there was. In this maze of an apartment building. Target lockdown. Oh, because one of them died. Probably. I can't... Where was that outfit? I think it was here. Yeah, the graphics in general, they definitely updated it with the release of Hitman 2, because this game's a few years old, and I think it looks really good. It plays very well. I think the music is good. The dialogue is funny. Um, there's a lot to like about this particular game for me at the moment. I can't find the mansion outfit, though. Dropped disguise. Looks like a mini tuxedo. Right there. Level five. Hang on. Oh, is that directly to my right? Just I just need to go up higher. Okay. How do I get up higher? There it is. Mansion security. Anyway, I'm security, so uh, let me through. The sky's... What did that say? Church staff? We're going to stick with mansion security. It'd be nice if you could take backup costumes with you. The game's already not very realistic, so what would the, that difference be? <laughs> you know? Mm -hmm. I can't climb that. The labyrinth continues. We don't want to go that way. This is a bathroom. I don't... How did I ever get in here? I genuinely don't know. It's so easy to get lost in these rooms. Church key. Let's pick that up. Hmm. the bathroom again. I don't know why I keep forgetting what doors I've even opened here. Okay. Alright. This apartment is so... <laughs> this is such an unnecessarily complicated building, I do have to say. We're free! It's a maze that never ends! It's Labyrinth! Okay, so is that a gift shop that's closed? Like, why are all those doors locked? This is... Uh, your careless whisper? Is this... Shall you... Sorry. Well, no offense, but, uh... Your breath smells like a rat crawled up your ass and died. 
Funny, funny, funny. Got him. <laughs> exactly. <sighs> Oh, the Italia. I wonder if the golf instructor still hangs out there. Like, you can keep that mission story going, even though the guy he's supposed to be training is dead. That's not worth it. It can't go out that way. Fuck. I do kind of love the sprawling area of this all, but like I said, it can get uh, slightly confusing. Hey. Toilet, toilet. Now oh, we're good. I don't know how to get up to the mansion. Got, got him. I get my it's leg day, gotta get my steps in. Is the store open? Hell yeah, I got the key card. Ooh, ooh. Oh shit. Mansion key card. Okay, we've been here, but this feels like progress now. All right, so we're in. We're going to save really quick. We are in the building the target is in. We're just on a different level. All right. Progress. Mansion security. Safety first. Can't ever be too careful. Housekeeper. I'm going to stick with mansion security. But we know that the housekeeper is in the basement. If we need it. We're in the mansion. There's our target. Let's just keep going upstairs. All right. And because we're security, no one's stopping us. That guy's suspicious, but screw him. One more floor up. Mm. Damn, we're here. This is Francesca DeSantis. Shit. This game saves really fast too, which is helpful because that's the kind of game it is. Intruder, sweeping area, over. Well, so I ran sure. into Roberto last I put together one of those Swedish Napoli chairs Stop last that. week. Now Stand there up. was a challenge. Well, I can't believe Mr. Frisco actually bought all of this. Shit. Hmm. Okay. Be here in the background. Nice. So 
So I just kill these two then, right? I'm going to try that. I don't care about the perfect score anymore. I just care about completing the mission. Destroy the virus. What? Forgot about that part. Shit. Destroy the virus. I don't have a target for the virus. They said it was in the basement. I guess we just keep going downstairs then. Okay. Body found. So what? People die every day. What's that got to do with me? stick with security because we need to get into a lab what is that noise for save we're definitely not going back that far so okay map that's the virus So we need, so. Okay. So how do I get there? The wine cellar doesn't go there? This does though. So it's left. Okay. Coming, come on. The basement looks clear. Moving on. Now. Hey, I need some help here. Bummer. I don't have the key card? No, oh nothing. shit. It's quiet here. Over. Go away, suspicious man. I need a key card? Or can I just go in now because the door's open? Hmm. Hmm. 
Do I get let through as the mechanic? Damn these people and their security. I completely agree. I don't want to let this costume go, though, because I feel like that's what gets me through most of these uh, secure places. load. We're right here. Uh, I should do a better job of paying attention to my saves. <laughs> Am I in danger? Let's Yeah, you are in danger. There a place that I can't hide his body anyway. Oh yes, I can. Okay. Got it. Perfect. Shop key, sewer key. Hmm, it's interesting. Whoa, is this the better way to go? I feel like that's an escape route. We'll just leave that unlocked for now. A secret waterfall exit. All right. Where was is that slanted stairwell? Here it is. Okay. And I want the wrench. Don't I want a wrench? Yeah. You uh, got something these fixing? I'm gonna fix it for you. I'm still amazed I didn't find the key card. For Sorry, sir, this is off limits. Good. Oh, all right. Okay. okay. All right. All right. Hmm. There has to be something I can do with this mechanics garage. I can't do anything with this car. Let's see what messing with the generator does, I guess. Okay. Let's just see what happens.
Oh, now both those guys are suspicious of me in this costume? That's not fair. Hmm. Oh, they're not. They were just suspicious because of the noise. Where's the key card for this fucking thing? I found the church key, but not the key card key. Oh. That means nothing to me. Well, I've already killed somebody that isn't the target. How do we reload? Right bumper. Let's do a quick, uh... Save slot two. Save slot two. No, it's not what I meant to hit. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Here we are. Ether's field lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit. Quite the quick change artist. Damn right. His background is in theater. He's used to going backstage and changing costume very quickly. Investigating distraction. He plays all the rule. He plays all the rules in Oklahoma. What could that be? What could that be? Get out of my face. Hi. Fine. You go ahead. You go ahead. No, you go ahead. Sure. I'm just trying to poison your coffee, but you won't get out of the goddamn way. Will ya? You're standing here forever. Do you ever do any work? Like you've never sat and stared at somebody drinking coffee in the break room. Security seems tight today. Yeah, it is. Jerry. Hmm. Shh. 
I, if I, I'm afraid that if I dress up like one of the scientists, that the other scientists are going to be more suspicious of me because they're going to know I'm not one of them. You know what I mean? This has to be an escape route. Hmm. We're going to save again because I don't want to start over. I want to beat this mission. Fourth, fourth, fourth. Sure, sure, sure. Asshole. Can't get in there either. It's fine. Hmm. So that's the place. Hmm. What is this thing? No, I don't need a brick. Okay, so walk me through this. Right. Well, this is the control panel for the air purification system. We're at a critical stage of development. We keep the system hmm. perpetually doused in chemicals. In the case of an outbreak. You finished your leftovers and now you're sad it's all gone. I ate my food and now I wish I had uh, more food. <laughs> Been there. So it neither infects cells or replicates within the cells. Belts and suspenders, huh? You better believe it. In its natural state, the prototype could infect and kill everyone inside this lab in a matter of minutes. The most ferocious organism we've ever seen. Now all we have to do is tame it. Anyway, the air purification system. Struggle's real. Tacos. I'm having tacos tomorrow. My son and I do Taco Tuesdays every Tuesday. Love it. I should probably eat more tacos, to be honest. It's probably better for me than the other meals I make when I'm not making tacos. Yeah, sure, why not? In case of an accident... The central lab unit is kept perpetually doused in chemicals to stop the virus prototype <laughs> Taco from spreading. City. Entering without a hazmat suit is sure to be lethal. The air purification system is able to clear the toxin, but the controls are only operated by senior lab personnel. Hmm. So is it saying that I do need a hazmat suit? Or did the air filtration that I just did make it so I don't need that? I don't know. Get a hazmat suit. Yep. Alright, we're in business though. We're making progress. We got a key card. Shit, man. I am going to knock out a fucking scientist. Because everyone... You need to shut your mouth. Shut, shut your mouth. Oh, I made him sick from the poison. I think there was a prompt there to push his head in the, uh... Non-target killed! What the fuck is this? Oh my god! What is this? That literally just kills whatever... What?
Okay, so now I should be able to get past... I, dude, for real! That is the fucking acid from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. We just put a cartoon... Oh my god, it's DIP! <laughs> you wear a mirror's edge, girl? <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, it's DIP! Hey! That's what I'm talking about. Finally. Three people who aren't suspicious of me, so I can actually get somewhere. And now how do I get the fuck... How do I get down there to get a damn... Suit? It's a mystery wrapped in a riddle inside an enigma. Can we climb this? No. How do I get... Christopher Lloyd in general in that movie is fucking terrifying. <laughs> it's inside here. How do we get in? Oh. Jesus Christ, man! Blending in. That way, even people who suspect me can't see me. Get away from me. I talked just like this! I. Who Framed Roger Rabbit is one of my favorite movies of all time. And I think anybody who loves 80s and 90s movies would put it right up there with some of the best. Robert Zemeckis in his prime. Back to the Future, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Forrest Gump, come on. All right, now I'm ready to go to Walmart. Luke, I am your father. Yeah, that movie's incredible. It's, it's impressive on every level, technically. The music sticks with me. The characters you remember forever. Just... Interesting stuff. Bob Hoskins. God. Luke. Alright. How do I get in? Don't look at me! Yo. How do I get in? Hmm. This fucking guy right here. Where is the person suspicious of me? Right there. Breathe in that thing? 
not as bad as you think. That was handy. Please tell me this is the entrance to this goddamn thing. Oh my god, the entrance is right here. This game, I love, I mean, I love this game. It's really fun. But sometimes you get lost. Like, why didn't I know I could just go in here, you know? We're all set, Fugitive. Time to kill the competition. There, in a sealed container. The virus prototype. Well, how do I kill it? <laughs> Terminator 2. Let's blend in a second. Let's see if these guys leave. <sighs> I cut her off in the middle of the mission intel. Okay, so I could have temporarily cleared the toxins, but because I got the hazmat suit, I'm fine. How do I... How do I kill this virus, though? Dangerous compound. <laughs> Processing. One dangerous compound. Processing. All right. Here's the thing, uh, Bill and Steve, I need to kill this. Let's see what happens. I wonder, I, I'm very curious if increasing this temperature to kill the virus is going to be a red flag at all. It is. That should be enough to kill the virus, right? Yeah, I was... I mean, I was first, but whatever. I, if only one of us has to be kind, I don't know what kind of world this is, but whatever. Yeah, of course the body was found. I killed somebody. Or knocked him out. Yeah, we go, we go into that airplane. I can see how, like, meticulously defeating uh, these targets 
uh, through, you know, fake accidental means and not killing other people would be extremely challenging, but really fun to pull off too. So this is a game that I can see myself going back and replaying the missions and trying to do better, even though I'm enjoying the story, doing a terrible job. I did have that one perfect mission though. And it gave me points for headshots, so it wasn't a total waste. Man, look at me leveling up. Cowboy Samurai Assassin does it again. A l oh. Nice. See, and, I mean, it actually rewards and is actually meant to be replayed, I think, because you just get through the mission any way that you can, has, as poorly as possible, and then you level up, you get more gear, you unlock more uh, opportunities in the map that makes it more manageable when you try to defeat it in a more serious manner, you know? And there's more mission stories. There's like seven or eight other mission stories in that map alone that I didn't, you know, get to see. So, that's cool. Eat the security's in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. I sincerely hope you do. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. I see you did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you're mine. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. The Strike graphics in the cutscenes still look really key. good. Jeez, yeah, bad guy. Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. I'll take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. Hmm. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Dom Cobb, are we in Inception? Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Damn. <laughs> A gilded cage. If this is a if this is a stealth Nicolas Cage mission in a Hitman game, I'm not going to be upset. Let's at least while we're in Hitman mode, let's watch the next story scene and see what the mission entails, and then we'll go from there. We'll see if we can start it. Good afternoon, forty-seven. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister mm. plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding hmm. his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. 
How does all this connect with the bad guy, though? ...who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further. Hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Hmm. There's only three or four missions left after this one. So it's like a six or... It's probably about a, a seven-hour first playthrough of the campaign, which is not too bad. Um, considering the replayability and the specific... Yeah, the specific design of, of playing the missions again and again. Almost like in a speedrun capacity to get a faster time to kill the targets quicker with better equipment. I think that's pretty cool.